in the military. Yes, it's a dangerous job, uh, and, and putting a gun in a uh, 18 year old hand and this, that, and the third. Yeah, yeah, they, they do do that, but they are told what to do. We're not told what to do. That's why so many people are trying to get in the industry, not only for the money, but for the freedom. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Lady J, drivers feel, uh, fear a lot of things out here such as myself I, I i do fear a lot of things and you mentioned the fact that you know you've seen some terrible accidents and stuff like that uh what what is your biggest fear out here um driving wise my biggest fear is one uh rolling the truck two is to you know uh kill someone out here and three is putting all of this time and effort into building this empire in the trucking industry just for it to be taken away by uh, self-driving trucks <laughs> you know don't 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 uh-uh self-driving <laughs> trucks ain't gonna do nothing man i keep telling Oh, I, I don't man, know. I, I don't know how much. I, I don't know how much. I, I I feel that 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 is a bit misconception because <laughs> you still going to need somebody to drive the truck. But see, it's it's not going to be. Have it's, to pay us as much. It, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It's not the fact that you know they're going to be driving. It's the fact that they don't have to pay us as much. Mm, good point. Because the truck is pretty much doing the out of work. Good point. I mean, they, they basically only paying us just to, you know, drive in the metro area and and back up mm -hmm. in the docks and everything. Mm -hmm. mm, good, good point there, Lady J. Good point, man. All right, well, got me on that one. <laughs> you got me on that one um man man well again lady j thank you very much for coming on and i really do appreciate it i really had a good time uh this evening and i really appreciate that you're taking the time and sharing some of your stories with me and your uh experience what was the reason what what was the reason now you you know your social your social media aspect is facebook you know because you know we're actually me and you is in multi is in the same multiple groups right mm -hmm. so your your social media mm -hmm. footprint uh footprint is uh is facebook but why did you venture out in the tiktok of all places well i ventured out into tiktok because um a lot of people wanted to know or see how I put my setup together. Mm -hmm. And I needed a way to, like, kind of do short videos or whatever. And um, I was like, well, let me try TikTok, because I know a, a lot of drivers do do TikTok with, um, you know, in the trucking industry. Let me try it out and see how I like it before I go over into YouTube and do a long, drawn-out thing. Because... Um, there are not many videos on what I currently do. Um, and the the one video that uh, the company that I started out with um, sent us was a very long, drawn-out process, and I've cut that process down in half. Something that would take you three hours will only take me an hour now. Okay. Um, so, yeah. This basically... Oh, go ahead. Um, yeah. What's what's okay. the you you now you say you do uh you you do drive away currently, what is the what, uh -huh. what what is the what is the financial differences between drive away and what you was doing when you was pulling drive in? Well, the main thing, one major thing is I don't have to wait to Friday to get paid. Um. Most of the drive-away companies are same day or next day pay. You get 60% of the load up front and the rest on the back end. Um, it's 1099. You're an independent contractor, um, and you can be contracted to multiple companies. 
Um, there's uh, each company has their own low board. And um, in 2022, I am um, on paper log. What? And no, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Uh, yes, I. Am. No, you're yes, not. I am. So, yo, is it is it because <laughs> is it because of what you do, or is it because your your because of your truck? It is because of what I do. I'm not in the same truck uh, every day. Oh, you so I'm constantly bad. in different trucks. So, um, the truck that I'm driving is a truck that will be delivered. So I can't. I mean, I could use keep trucking, but why when I can use paper logs? It's the same thing. Oh my god! You're um, so lucky. Yeah. So it's no ELD, no none of that. Like it's straight paper. Oh man, that's what's up. That's what's yeah. up, man. What do you? Well, since you, you know, you do a lot of drive away stuff. What, what, what are some of the things that you hate at the truck stop? What I hate about what now? What's some of the things you hate at the truck stop? Whew, the smell of piss. <laughs> yeah, see, these oh. young cats, these young cats, are gonna have to get used to that. <laughs> oh Lord, that's that's one of the major things. Um, another thing is, um, the the bad food, like you know, they they pushing us for having, you know, pushing us to be healthier and all of that, but the choices that we have are not good. Yeah, you can cook, true enough, but there's not a lot of places that you can pull into and go shopping. Walmart is cracking down where they don't want us there. Why? Because, like I said, drivers will just throw their trash out there, have gallon piss bottles out there and all that different type of thing. So, um, yes, one major thing is the food, food quality. Two, um, um, not enough parking. The parking that they do have is paid, as we know, like Pilot and Flying J, T- T- PA. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, well, they, shout they out, don't leave shout, us a lot. Shout, of shout out to to Loves for opening up two new truck right. stops that offering about close to 800 new uh, parking spaces for free. Right. I'm just saying. Right. Shout out to <laughs> Right. Um. And, I mean, a lot of um, places don't have adequate lighting. As a female, that was one of, oh, speaking of that, that was one of one of my major concerns about coming out here is being caught up in that type of situation where someone would try to abduct me or do something harmful to me. That was one of my major things. So um, most times when I was uh, with the major company, I would drive at night and sleep during the day. And, you know, roam around, take my shower and stuff during the day to, I guess, cut down my chances. Okay. Um, in my mind, you know, that was that was one of the things. So um, I don't, I, you know about Safe Haven. That was something that, yeah, we we, <laughs> we kind of uh, yeah we yeah yeah it's, unfor- <laughs> yeah it's unfortunate that we missed the boat on that one, but you know we we was trying to we was trying to put it together. Uh, it came from it the the idea came from when that young lady was killed in uh, yeah. Louisiana. Um, so- was it Louisiana or was yeah. it Mrs. Yeah, it was in Louisiana. I think it was Louisiana. Yeah. Either she was from Louisiana yeah. in Mississippi or she was uh, from Mississippi in Louisiana. Yeah, so the, I, the, the idea of the inception came from that. Um, it was just, mm-hmm. uh, I guess, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't I know my, either, but yeah, I got know. my. I, I mean, I got my. I, I got my own opinion, but I, I, I'll keep it to myself because you know, my, you know. It, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We we ain't gonna go but all we, off we, into we, that, but yeah, but we, we was, let's just say we missed the boat on that. Yeah. So you know, like safe haven was something that was gonna be geared toward either you know making it safer for female drivers. 
uh, well, drivers in general, but the main concern at that time was female drivers because it's, it is dangerous out here. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I can't, I can't stress it enough. Um, uh, having some type of defense mechanism or something to protect yourself. We we know that we can't have firearms like that, but having something to defend yourself, you know, take some defense classes where, you know, you learn how to defend yourself if you're ever captured and um, having somebody that you can be on the phone with if you are caught in the um parking lot at real late and they don't have adequate lighting and all that good type of thing um so yeah all right all right <laughs> lady J. Yeah. Thank you very much, man. I, I you know, I, I enjoy conversations. That's what we do over here on the Lockout Man Podcast Show, where the best conversation starts over here. Lady J, thank you for coming right. on. I really do appreciate it. You are a citizen now. Um what <laughs> You know, we we drivers out here. We drive. That's what we do. We get bored. It's a lonely. It's it's a lonely at you know at by ourselves type type deal. But we we like the sceneries and we like the states that we go through. Do you have a do do you do you have a state that you like and what that you like to drive through and what state do you hate to drive through? <laughs> Well, um, you know I'm Georgia, Georgia bred, Georgia fed, and when I die, I'll be Georgia dead, Georgia to the bone. So, you know, my favorite place to drive through is Georgia because I know I'm going home. <laughs> but now, uh, scenic, scenic wise, um, I love Oregon. Um, I-84 when the um, interstate runs along the Columbia River. Um, that's one of my favorite, most favorite places to um, be in the country. Um, I also like, I also like Arizona, um, the mountainous, the mountainous areas. I like driving through there and seeing that, especially the, um, <clears throat> the little stretch between New Mexico and two, um, and two Arizona, I think it is. Yeah. Where they, where the, uh, red mountains are. I don't know the actual name of the uh, range, but that's one of my favorite places to drive. I absolutely hate anything on the east, the top east coast, like uh, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, that part, that part, that whole corner of the, uh, that whole right side all of the that. corner. Yeah, they can, they can have all of all that. that. They all can of have that. They, all, yeah, of all, all of all of that. It. They can keep that. They can put that back in their pocket. <laughs> yeah, they they can, they yeah, can they keep can. they can keep that in their pocket and never take it out. I'm just saying. Um, right. All yeah, of that. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I, um, I, would, I would say the best way to get up in there is at night, and the best way to get up out of there at night. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Um, another place that I like to uh, like to is on seventy. Um, I don't like it in the winter time, but um, um, Bell, Colorado, mm -hmm. um, the White Forest, and all of that. When you get ready to go through the tunnels and all that, mm -hmm. that is a very, very beautiful place. I love it. I absolutely love the scenery there. All right, all but I right. don't like it in the winter time. You if you you're like a rookie driver and you mm -hmm. listening to this. Stay away from 70 during the winter time in Colorado. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And make sure that your make make sure that your brakes is on point. I'm just saying. We're not okay. even gonna talk. We're not exactly. gonna talk about that. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh. All right. Please do your pre trips and all of that and know that you are the captain of that ship. Mm -hmm. They cannot make you move. Exactly. Lady J in the building. Thank you very much, ma'am. I really do appreciate it. We're not going to be, uh, we, we're not going to be, uh, you know, we're going to come back again and, uh, and chop it up again. You know, let, you know, just come on, give me some tips or whatever you want to do. You got the number whenever you feel like coming on and everything. Uh, I just want to say, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad you was lady enough to come back how you came back on your TikTok. 
uh, which is very cool because, like I said, the gentleman on there, you know, he's, yeah. <laughs> so. Well, I, I still, you know, with with that situation, I do want to send this out to him if he do if he is listening. Like, there's no bad blood if is. I ever see you out here, and you need and you need me, I, I'll be the first one to help you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no bad blood, no matter what you said to me, because I do believe in karma, and she is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So yeah, I, same thing with me. I mean, I'm cool. I'm I'm cool with just about any and everybody out here. And and if I do see you out in out and about, you know, I'll I'll chuck up the deuces. I ain't gonna be like, huh? You know, I ain't, I'm I'm not like that. So yeah, even though I had my <laughs> even though I had my fair share of of controversy out here, but still, I'm that I'm that dude. I'm you know, if you come and hit me up or something like that, you see me in a in a truck stop or something like that, you know me from YouTube or whatever, whatever. Or you know, if you one of the people that you know, if we on opposite sides of the fence, I'm not I'm I'm still not going to be that way towards you. I'm just going to be like chuck up the deuces and. Right keep it moving and all like that so that's what's up that is what's up all right well lady j thank you very much once again we about to get on up out of here i know you're a busy busy lady so thank you very much for your time yeah. i really do appreciate it and uh um, and let's get back again uh okay. let's get back again soon all right well i got i gotta i gotta finish it the way i you know the way i do it i can't nobody do it like me go ahead and do I it i gotta say my song go ahead and do it <laughs> Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place if you can. To all my drivers out there, keep it shining side up, greasy side down between the mail and the mustard. Lady J, over and out. Peace, y'all. Ten, ten four, Lady J. <laughs>